you are looking at a revolution in print quality. Unprecedented breakthroughs in printing speed, reliability in printing elements, and print quality were triggered by the introduction of Diablo's high type printer in 1972. While many of the new standards of excellence were originally set by Diablo, standards for print quality date back to Gutenberg. The business of printing words on paper has long depended upon a unique marriage of artistry and engineering. Precision and vision have been especially important words in printing technology for nearly 500 years because the end user of this technology is always equipped with the most powerful sensing system yet devised, the human eye. In order to meet the extremely precise tolerances demanded by human vision, printers have always been concerned with both craft and science. Gian Battista Bodoni, for example, was certainly one of the premier high technologists of the 18th century. Bodoni meticulously created the tools to set alphabets in type, guiding the most advanced technologies of his time with the painstakingly honed skills of his eyes, hands, and mind. In 1782, in order to print a page, Bodoni had to cut and temper an iron punch for each letter, strike a copper impression, shave and finish the copper and fit it into a matrix, put the matrix in a mold, cast the type in lead, dress it, and set the page by hand. It took four months to cut an alphabet of a single size, and another month to just cast enough type for a book. In 1982, Bodoni's computer age counterparts at Diablo Systems can design an alphabet and manufacture the tools for molding half a million print wheels in one month. These artists and engineers are the heart of Diablo's print wheel technology group, a very special team of people who push the state of the art far beyond all previous limits through the use of a multi-million dollar innovation. The name for this technological and aesthetic breakthrough is CADCAM which stands for Computer-Aided Design, Computer-Aided Manufacture. Diablo's unique application of this powerful innovation makes possible new dimensions of precision, flexibility, and consistent quality. With CAD-CAM, Diablo designers can create new type styles and engrave these designs into high-precision steel molds used for the mass production of print wheels. CAD-CAM provides an integrated system which closely links design and manufacturing phases. Bodoni and his colleagues were concerned with obtaining the highest degree of print quality for their time. But in the computer age, print quality is often sacrificed for high speed. Recent matrix printing and first generation high speed printers made possible rapid hard copy. But in the process, the level of print quality dropped. Because of the human ability to resolve very fine lines, the people who read those printed pages can easily recognize the decline in print quality. This sensitivity caused Diablo to become increasingly concerned and increasingly involved with building the most precise, highest quality impact printing systems. There has been a renaissance in print quality since Diablo introduced the daisy wheel printer and the quest for even higher print quality in the future is continuing. Every effort is made to build print wheels at a level of near perfection in order to get below the threshold of visual perception. There is a great pride in the new level of technology involved in the CAD-CAM system. But the real soul of the system is the team of people that has been assembled. They are a collection of very special talents. Plastics part designers, mold tool designers, polymer engineers, micro-machine specialist, product engineers, and CAD graphics engineers and artists. For example, there are only a few people considered to be the top graphics engineers in the world, and Diablo employs about half of them. In the CAM part of the process, a unique mix of skills is called for. There are specialists, truly in the tradition of old world craftspeople, who grind specially compounded tungsten carbide cutters to twice the thickness of a human hair working at tolerances measured in millionths of an inch. 
Also in the CAM process are the people who operate numerical control engraving equipment, whose craft is computer-operated machining. In addition to being among the best in the world at their own particular specialty, each specialist must have an excellent working knowledge of the whole process. CAM specialists spend a good deal of time consulting with CAD engineers in order to upgrade and improve the design programming. The print wheel technology staff constantly works at cross-fertilizing its skills. A true team effort is required to produce a new typeface with close coordination between design and manufacturing phases from letter form to print wheel. To more precisely understand the process of daisy wheel manufacture, we begin in the CAD room, where the design phase is accomplished. Bedoni had to carefully shave a metal letter punch to translate a hand-rendered letter form into type. Here, at the beginning of the CAD process, the translation is easier, thanks to a device called a digitizer. As the digitizer traces around the edge of the hand-drawn character, the points on the lines are entered into the computer. The CAD workstation uses computer graphics technology to give the artist designers freedom from the more time-consuming mechanical aspects of their craft. When the designer calls up the character from the computer, groups of words appear along the right side of the display screen. These are menus of software operations, functions the computer can perform. By touching the light pin to the appropriate menu item, the designer can call up the power of the computer to smooth out lines, draw curves, and perform other design functions. To the left of the keyboard are dials and keys, which can move the display in several dimensions, rotate it, and enlarge sections. This device, called a mouse, is one tool for designating parts of the character to be manipulated. The keyboard can be used to instruct the computer to perform even more complex operations. On the screen is the computer representation of the letter that was digitized from the drawing. First, the previous design errors and irregularities are removed, and adjustments are made to fit the character on a daisy wheel with regard to its specific application. On the artistic side, the graphics engineer must not only be familiar with the aesthetic philosophy of that type style, but must also be sensitive to manufacturing constraints, such as fitting the type onto the daisy wheel. After artistic and technical deficiencies are corrected, the exact path that the tool cutter will take is designed creating the numerical instructions that will later guide the machining phase. Once the basic cutter path has been laid down, it is moved into the three-dimensional aspect, where the letter is rolled over so that the cuts involved can be seen. Rough and final cuts are programmed to shape, burnish, and remove the burrs from the characters, very much like sawing a piece of wood and then sanding it smooth. A hand-drawn letter form is not the only place for a graphics engineer to start. Using artistic judgment, the engineer can determine the aesthetic relationships of a given family of characters, then construct a grid that simulates the scale of that character and use the computer's line and curve generators to build a character in the grid. When the designer has described a whole family, the next step is designing the pad which supports the character and connects it to the spoke of the daisy wheel. This is an extremely important task even slight imprecision can affect print wheel life. The graphics engineers have stored a standard pad in the memory of the computer, which represents the optimum shape to accept the print hammer. The pads must be well fitted next to each other so they are not too close to touching during the design and tooling phases, or plastic will flash over during the molding process and fuse two fingers of the wheel together. The entire wheel, including characters and pads, is built up this way. After the pad is shaped, the computer is instructed how to do the next steps based on the first bits of information it already has. Contained within the grid will be all the instructions to engrave a single character or a pad. Once the general trend of the type style is established, a single keystroke can change the size of an entire typeface or replace a dollar sign with an English pound sign. Remember, if Bodoni wanted to make a type style in a different size, he had to start from scratch. When the CAD phase is completed, a kit is delivered to the CAM operation, including a piece of tool steel, a box full of cutters, and a computer cassette tape, which contains all the numerical engraving instructions. 
This is the center of CAM technology. At the heart of the CAM process is a four-axis numerical control milling machine capable of accuracies as fine as 40 millionths of an inch. Because of the very fine tolerances determined by the extreme acuity of human vision, the engraving must be done in tool steel using custom Diablo design tungsten carbide engraving cutters. Working with 100 power magnification, the people who grind these cutters have the old time skills and pride of hand workmanship that date back to the Bodoni era. One Diablo operator brings 46 years experience Another brings 20 years experience to their task of precise grinding of these cutters. Numerical control specialists are not simply running an automatic device. They have to operate their machining through a computer keyboard rather than through the feel of manual controls. In the engraving process, the actual cutting is continually audited. First, the cutter's size is verified. Then a rough cut is made. Then the cutter is ground to the precise size and the actual final engraving is done. The engraved blanks are carefully measured, deburred, heat treated, ground to a finish, and are then ready to be put into the molding machine. The final product of the CAD CAM process is the tool from which daisy wheel print elements are molded. Each mold will normally produce half a million parts. While other manufacturers tend to concentrate exclusively on final quality control, Diablo puts efforts into design, process control, and quality control. This virtually eliminates the possibility of customers receiving defective parts. The parts themselves are produced by a high-pressure plastic injection molding process. Very tight process control is in operation here. An engineer audits parts out of every day's production run to make sure that the process is under control. The object is to always catch things before they go bad. Diablo also manufactures metalized print wheels, and most of these metal wheels are test printed. There are five major reasons Diablo and the new CAD CAM system will continue to supply superior products to Diablo distributors, OEMs, and end users. System engineered products by a corporation dedicated to leadership and innovation. State of the art precision, and therefore highest possible print quality. Flexibility, consistency, and speed of design and manufacture. The wealth of expertise and experience behind the process. And the fact that this product is made by people who take pride in creating products that are the best in the world. When Bodoni established a high standard for print quality, he set a goal for all others to strive for. Diablo remembers these artistic traditions of the past while moving forward to engineering the office of the future. Today, one company continues to be the world leader in the finest quality office impact printing supplies. That company is Diablo Systems.